Lasanta Wickremachone has told the High Court that an alleged defamatory article published in his English weekly journal didn't convey the impression that the president was a corrupt person. Wickremachone is the first accused in the President Chandrika Kumaratunj criminal defamation suit. In fact, at that time he thought that the president was squeaky clean, meaning that she was beyond reproach or corruption, he said. Mr. Wickremachung explained that had he thought that the article conveyed such an imputation to the reader he would not have published it. Accused editor Lasana Wickremachung gave his deposition from the witness box. His testimony was led by senior counsel S. L. Gunaskara instructed by Samaritan Associates. A transcript of the testimony followed thus, Mr. Gunaskara, you are and you have been the editor of Sunday Leader? Lasanta, yes. Counsel, in Adaton O being the editor, you are also an attorney at law? Lasanta, Yes. Lasanta, when did you commence your journalistic career? Lasanta, in July 1981. Counsel, where did you work at the start of your journalistic career? Lasanta, I was a sub-editor, in the English weekly published by M. D. Gunasenia. In 1982, I joined the island newspaper, the start of your journalistic career. Lasanta, I was a sub-editor, in the English weekly published by M. D. Gunasenia. In 1982, I joined the island newspaper, in 1989 or thereabout I became the political columnist of the Sunday Times. Thereafter I started the Sunday Leader. Q. Did you engage in politics at any time? Lasanta, yes, after the presidential election of 1988 and during the general election of February, 1989. I was invited by Premier Sairamavo Bandaranayaka and Anura Bandaranayaka to contest the Colombo North seat on the SLFP. Thereafter I became the private secretary of Sairamavo Bandaranayaka the then leader of the opposition. I continued in that capacity till mid-1991. Counsel, you know the virtual complainant in this case? Lasanta, yes. Counsel, did you know her closely? Lasanta, not so closely. I have seen her when I used to visit her husband Vijaya Kumaratunga in my capacity as a political reporter of the island. Counsel, was that all your association with her? Lasanta, I had spoken to her on two occasions in my life. Counsel, as the editor do you accept responsibility for the public to in the indictment? Lasanta, yes. Counsel, the title of the article is A Promising Government? Lasanta, yes. Counsel, did you write the article? Editor, no. Counsel, did you see the relevant article before publication? Lasanta, yes. Counsel, you authorize the publication of that article? Lasanta, yes. Counsel, as an editor you have the right to publish an article, to prevent the publication of an article or to publish an article after deletion of any portion? Lasanta, Yes. Counsel, as an editor, do you read all the articles that appear in the newspaper? Here in the main section of the newspaper. In Adaton, I read sensitive articles published in the other sections including letters. To the editor. Counsel, in what circumstances as an editor would you reject an article? Lasanta, I do so if an article is defamatory. Sometimes if I find it defamatory, I edit it or keep it out altogether. Counsel, if you consider that an article is defamatory you would either not publish it or edit out the defamatory portion of the article? Lasanta, yes. Counsel, having read the article in question did you counsel, the second accused is your brother. He was also the publisher of the newspaper at the material time? Lasanta, yes. Counsel, what are the functions of a publisher? Lasanta, his role was management. In respect of the publication of articles, he has no role whatsoever to play. Counsel, are articles published in the Sunday Leader shown to the second accused before publication? Lasanta, no. Counsel, when does the publisher first see the newspaper? Lasanta, when the newspaper comes to the market. Counsel, you have read the charges in the indictment and pleaded not guilty? Lasanta, yes. Counsel, according to the essence of the charges against you is that you had made an imputation that the virtual complainant is a corrupt person? Lasanta, yes. Counsel, is there any such imputation? Lasanta, no. Counsel, had you thought that there was such an imputation, would you have published it? Lasanta, no. Counsel, did you at any time think that the virtual complainant was a corrupt person? Lasanta, no. Counsel, what was your opinion about her at that time? Lasanta, I thought that she was squeaky clean. Counsel, would you explain what is meant by squeaky clean? Lasanta, it means being beyond. Beyond reproach or corruption. Counsel, you are saying that now. Had you said so earlier? Lasanta, yes I had said so in the newspaper of August 13, 1995. It was stated in my editorial under the caption The President's First Year. Counsel, in that editorial you had referred to the virtual complainant as the least corrupt president? 
La Santa, yes. Counsel, in such circumstances when you believe that the president was totally honest in her personal life, would you have published any matter that could convey the imputation that she was corrupt? La Santa, no not at all.